In this tutorial video, we're going to be looking at what the difference between an abstract class and an interface is. So in the previous couple of videos, we've talked uh, about abstract classes and interfaces. So if you are not familiar with what they are, uh, I suggest you go back and look at those videos. But assuming that you do know what they are, um, you've probably noticed that both of them seem pretty um, similar between each other. So you've probably asked yourself the following question, what exactly is the difference between an interface and an abstract class? Well, to best answer that question, let's first of all look at this table which compares the two. So an abstract class does not support multiple inheritance, whereas an interface does. An abstract class contains members, whereas an interface doesn't. An abstract class contains constructors, whereas an interface doesn't. <clears throat> Methods and members can be defined with any visibility inside an abstract class, whereas all methods must be defined as public inside an interface. Um, an abstract class is extended using the, <coughs> uh, the keyword extends. Uh, an interface is implemented using the keyword implements and finally an abstract class cannot be instantiated but can be invoked if a main method exists whereas an interface also cannot be instantiated but it can't be invoked if a main method exists either <clears throat> so that being said um, this probably doesn't help you understand what the difference between the two are so I'm going to explain it in just, a, in just a couple of words. So it's pretty simple. So you can think of an interface as a class which is only allowed to have abstract methods and nothing else. So an interface can only declare and not define the behavior you want the class to have. Whereas an abstract class allows you to do both. It allows you to declare and define. So you can declare uh, using abstract methods and define using full method, uh, full method implementations. So you can declare and define the behavior you want the class to have. So now it should be more clear uh, what the difference between an interface and an abstract class is.